Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Best of One. <clears throat> Today, we've been playing a Simic Company deck. It's mostly a mono green deck, but we're splashing blue <clears throat> for Decisive Denial. So, it's basically a company deck that's mono green, so our mana is always really good. We have Land Rails, Buck Collector. Um, all our creatures cost less than three, so that company can get a uh, creature that costs obviously less than three, three or less. So we can get like old growth, old growth troll champion bark bark high troll, uh, and then our and then we're splashing blue to uh, essentially for counter spells. Decisive denial is a very powerful card, especially for a deck like this. Uh, this deck can abuse both both parts of it. It can be a removal spell because it can <clears throat> allow your creature to fight other creatures, and your creatures are green, so they're usually bigger, and it's also uh, a mana leak for non-creature spells, so you can counter um, things like, you know, Date Wrath of God or uh, Unbroil Rites or what have you. And usually, and because usually your creatures are bigger than the opponents, uh, the the countering and non-creature ability is 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 powerful. So this is this is the only card we're playing main deck that's blue. In the sideboard, you can play things like Negate and Spell Pierce, but this is the main. This is the one that's is going to shape this deck. I know it's only, it's only one card, but it's a very powerful card that fits very well into this this strategy. Uh, late game, we have uh, Ronos to pump our creatures, give them Trample. We have Primal Might as a way to close out the game as well. We also have Ooze to uh, move creatures from Graveyard and gain life. So this is the this is the list. It's the deck. It's it's pretty, it's, it's pretty simple, but you do have some lines that you can make. That changed the, that changed the outcome of the game. Mostly revolving around denial. Sure, I'll keep this. We don't have one drop, but... Like no Lynn Rolf. Early Orion. The bar control of the 3 3. You can move a counter, have a fight. Not fight, uh, give it hexproof. We're gonna we're gonna might this. Then attack. All right, thorns is. Not a card that I expected from the opponent. So they, are, they are a blink deck. We're playing um, ephem Ephemerate. So they probably have a lot, a lot of things that come to play and do stuff. Alright. I'm gonna exile this because if we do manage to kill the Cavalier of Thorns, I don't want them to get, to get that back. It seems like the most problematic card. In the graveyard. We need that land. The fourth land. Would have been great. Alright, 
They have Yorion too. This is not good for us. Another Spellbinder. Yeah, they're very well positioned against future decks. No. Okay, we're not going to be able to do anything with uh, the three lands. And also, it's kind of hard to get past this Cavalier of Thorns. We'll talk about the opponent, though. The Cavalier of Thorns, like, stonewalled us. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna play all the trolls today. Gates. Okay. Let's go with more power. Could be Doomscar, so we'll just pass and hold up company. So we could just make instead. Hook up. It was Doomscar, okay. They have a bunch of Wraths, but Coco and the Troll are pretty resi resilient to Wrath. End up working out for us. Waste not. thing has menace and lifelink, a non control creature, non control creature and opponent controls would die, exile it instead. When you do, you need to pay two. If you do make a pest. So if they don't have a board wipe here, then we'll just hold up hold up counter magic. This card's two cards, the Muslim cards. Oh god. Well. Mm. So they draw two. Make two zombies. Fortunately, not having Lance to discard there. Let's 
We just have to go all in. We don't. That's fine. So I'll just hold up the counter spell. Not counter spell per se, but. I'll try making it this card more cards. Just counter it. So there's, there's also a good sort of cards in my hand. This gives Puck Collector Trample, so we're playing it before combat. I need a board wipe. I guess this card, one card makes two zombies, but that's not really good enough. Oh, all right, you get a zombie, or two zombies rather. So we just emptied our hand until their waste knots didn't do anything because we weren't discarding cards. Um, I'm gonna mulligan on this. One draw. One 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 day we'll draw. Landworth. It's not today. It has to be a three drop. Um Slave Champion. Bringer. So this stops this from triggering, right? This could be black white auras. I guess I'm all in. Kind of like Ronos, it makes everything essentially lethal. Nice. Nice! Easy clap. Still haven't seen Lanor Elf. Somewhere. This curve isn't that great. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, 
Ugh. Not good. If I can get something to stick on the ground. Jeez, I can't. We're gonna lose because. Just a little of a start. Any one creature there is brutal. Six lands, whatever. Yeah. That was pretty unlucky there. Bad company. Bad company. Even getting a bark high troll would have been good there. Could have traded with a 3 3. And then left with a land wolf. There we go. We have Lanwerf. Alright, all we have is Lanwerf. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Collected company. The Agadim's Awakening, yeah. Activate the Haven. I do it for one. I do it for one, right? It makes it a five four. Like a languish or an extinction event. Ankle's fine. Ankle doesn't do anything. Component. Can you deal with it? Yes. Yay or nay? Yay or nay? And they said nay. Aggressive decks look to win quickly with cheap creatures before the opponent can set up effective defenses. Oh my god, is that what we're doing? Kind of. I think an aggro mid range. Is that great? Not full. Not fully aggro. 
It's like one drop, one drop, two drop, three drop. We go one drop, three drop. Could have attacked and if they blocked with the uh, Daxos. Maybe we should maybe we should attacked. We should attacked first actually, because they block with Daxos. I can fight I can fight this and then eat it. I could blow them out. Yeah, I should have attacked there. That was a mistake. Not attacking. Of the heavens. Alright. Gotta kill that one on my turn. That was a pretty bad hit. might outgrow me. I don't know. Alright, don't hit Righteous Valkyrie. Please. No! That's not fair. Oh no, now we're dead. They hit a second company, which is brutal. Jeez, okay. Yeah, there's too high. There's still 48. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I should... I lost because turn two, that turn two play. I should have attacked. I don't know if they would have blocked or not, but if they block, it's a blowout because on turn two, 
Oh, well, I was gonna try to show you. They attack with the ooze. They block with the uh, Daxos. I can make I can make the ooze fight the Soul Warden. Then I can eat the Soul Warden. It basically kills whole board. I didn't do that though. Right, let's play a couple more on ladder. I feel like that could have. I mean, that was, that was still, still a decent run, but I think. I can't, I can't guarantee if they blocked. Or if, if they blocked or not, regardless. I should have attacked for, before playing 3 drop, no matter what. <laughs> that would have been. That is. Not would have been. That is the correct play. Is that 4 3, 5 3? Pretty fast, too. Next, pretty fast. Only these just get bigger and bigger. Okay. I'll just eat everything with ooze. Get infinite rats. Infinito. Bad Tui. Oh my god. Even more rats. This is diamond, right? Wait, what? It's other? Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I should've done, should done for one less than eight a rat. To attack with Ronas. That was, that was a mistake. I thought Ronas was like, if any creature. I guess if that was the case, he could attack himself, so. Alright, that's my fault, my fault. Should've just done it for one less. Why do they keep attacking me? How am I playing this? What it? Did opponent just get all the way here, all the way to diamond with a mono black rat deck? Looking wild. Wild. We'll do a couple more here. Your games are really fast. No one drop. Hmm. We have Ooze and Champion though. I don't know. I like this hand though. No one drop, no company. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. All right, we're dead. <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't land war off, but I feel like 
on my first elves probably isn't that great, especially if I'm going to play. Can I go super wide? Okay, they're going super wide now. Jesus. Play a champion because champions basically can be unblockable, depending. All right, well. I feel like I have to save my fight for that card for Arch Druid. Yeah, there's definitely all attack here, yeah. That's what? That's so much damage. One creature, one creature here. I'm gonna just fight for one. Right, like I got a seven and block two of them. It's like one, two, yeah, I'm just dead. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Need more decisive battles. No moss. That's also a loose hand, I guess. We didn't draw any companies either. Wasn't very aggressive. Maybe I should mulligan hand like mulligan hands that don't have one drop or company. Alright, I'm gonna mulligan this. No one drop and no company. Let's listen. Let's listen to me. We're also not on the play. If we're on the play, maybe it's fine, but alright. Keep this one. I think I'll leave with Landwell. That's a draw two drop. Go get Landwell. I'm probably double collector. Double collector or troll. Let's see what we draw. It's gruel. Both our hands. <laughs> okay. Prone's yeah. crying. And they have Gargoth. Okay. Alright, alright. On land. Primal command. 
We can put a land back on top of our deck so we draw a land again. Probably they probably put a land, probably put a land on top of our deck and just get another Gargoth. Doesn't matter which one they put on top, but yeah. Gula. Titan me. Oh, man. If they kill Old Growth Troll, we'll get two 4 4s with Puck Collector. There's a the troll will die, making them 3 3s. Then I can make another 4-4. Four, four. I think the best bet is to play the... Okay. to tap that but All right, kind of still stand still here for a bit Blow up land if stone rain or something. Gross. Gross. Exert. We get a primal command, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like this deck isn't terrible, but I like we're just a worse green midrange deck than all the green mid decks we face. Like anything that wasn't green midrange, we beat. But anything that was green midrange we lost to, so I feel like I'm really sold in this deck. I want to try it, see how it was. But not honestly, not, not not the biggest fan. It just feels like the other green midrange, the other green midrange decks are doing a little more. Like we're more concise and we'll kill the, kill the opponent faster. So against control or combo, like we are good against Phoenix. We have scavenging use. Like we're pretty against those decks. But against other green midrange decks, which technically aren't very popular, but they are, on they are enough on ladder to make this deck 
Probably not, not, not the best ladder deck. The deck's probably better like in a tournament or something. But not so much ladder just because the other, the other green decks go over you. Like when your best play is like Ronos or, you know, company two, two, three drops. Should be good enough, but now they have like, if they play like one, if a green deck plays a Cavalier of Thorns or a Gargoth or <laughs> freaking Cogula Titan Ape, like it's just not good. Or even the white decks, the white decks that go bigger, that have bigger creatures, it's kind of rough, so. We're supposed to be the biggest creatures playing green decks, but we weren't against those other other mid-range decks, so I'm not really sold. I'm not really sold. It's fine, but I'd probably build another, another green mid-range deck. Another green mid-range deck, but at least we know. At least we know now. Um, This Friday, we'll be playing best of three in Historic. Probably playing uh, a Boros mid-range deck, potentially. And after that, I'm actually going to look into Modern. Just because I feel like Standard is a little, kind of boring. And Historic is also going down that road for, for a bit. Maybe maybe we'll play some modern until a new set come, new set uh new set drops, or or, or historic anthologies or, or something. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. Again, Friday best of three. Then after that, I'm looking to uh, modern or even maybe 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 even legacy. Let me know what y'all. Let me know what you think. Modern or legacy in the future. If, if you're interested, interested interested in either that or if you're just not interested in either and would rather have historic or standard, just either way, let me know what you what, what, what like what you want to watch. Uh, I stream over at twitch.tv twitch.tv slash alyaldrazi. That's my live stream. You can follow me at twitter.com slash alyaldrazi. And if you shop at coolstuffing.com, use code ali 5 That code will save you 5% save you off your entire order and uh, get you a sweet alyaldrazi wolf token. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all back on Friday. All right, bye.